Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video let's talk about what's new in this month's Framer update. Here we have a simple navigation demo that I'll use to illustrate some new features. Here we have three breakpoints. If we select the navigation bar on the tablet or desktop breakpoint, you'll see everything in the property panel looks the same. However, if I select the same navigation in the phone breakpoint, a few properties will be highlighted. These are properties that we have overridden within this breakpoint, meaning the values are not the same as they are in the primary breakpoint, which in this case is the desktop breakpoint. To reset these overrides, I can simply click on the label and hit reset. I'll go ahead and quickly undo that here. So Framer will now tell you which properties you've changed, helping you better understand inheritance across breakpoints, which ultimately should help you design layouts in Framer. So at a glance, we can see that width, height, direction, and gap have been customized for this navigation within the phone breakpoint. And this will also now work for component variants. Here we can see this navigation has two variants, one open, one closed. And when selecting the closed variant, we can quickly see which properties have been overridden. And likewise, we can click to reset these overrides. So any new value we change in this variant, like opacity, will be highlighted to let you know that this value no longer matches with the primary variant. In conclusion, we hope this helps you better understand your breakpoints and your variants, allowing you to design better sites faster. That's it for this video. For everything else that's new in the February update, please go to framer.com/updates. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.